Sekuigar Bones here, and I am back with my Sith Inquisitor. Gonna be going to Korriban to uh, get a new apprentice, I believe. And uh, I don't think we have any new convo, so let's just get right to it. Head on over there. Ah, yes, gonna see our old friend Harkin. Ah, yes, home sweet home. Seems like only yesterday since I left the academy. There he is. You are the slime, the filth, the wretches of society. You are what Sith lords scrape off their boots. I don't know why the Sith Empire even bothers with you, miserable curs. They'd be wiser to give you shovels and have you dig your own graves. I take it these are the new acolytes? My lord, you clean up well. Yes, these are the acolytes. A worse bunch than yours, if you ask me. I was just preparing these new slaves for their imminent death. Are you here for an apprentice, or were you just feeling nostalgic? I was just thinking of what good times we had together. Well, that and my apprentices were just ruthlessly killed. Good times, yes. <laughs> Thanaton had the sense to pass up this cancerous lot, so they're yours if you want them. This worm is Sephiris. They found him in a hut's palace, crushing prisoners' heads for the hut's entertainment. Steve Pamuhu Mwaga. Shut up, slave. You don't talk directly to a lord of the Sith unless she asks it. This beady-eyed monstrosity is Argog. Don't know where on a cat hound's backside he's supposed to come from. Sorry, what was that? Can't understand a word it says. This gangly creature is Jackson. He's no Sith, but is at least human. No offense. And this bone-faced one, well, I can't pronounce whatever gibberish he says he's called. We call him Zalek. Master. Don't let him fool you. Too wild for his own good. There were two others, but we made the mistake of leaving them alone with Zalek. Make sure you push them as hard as you pushed me. And look how you turned out. Murdered your master. Be careful what you wish for. You may check back as you please. I don't expect it to take too long to chew through this bunch. What are you staring at, wretches? You know your trial. Now go! You know, it is cool that we actually get an apprentice like the proper way. Well, I guess proper for Sith anyways. Instead of, like, just finding a Jedi or just some random person <laughs> on another planet. I don't know, it's a nice change of pace to have things go normally. Also notice my mic volume was, uh, quite high, so hopefully that's made it a bit better. <laughs> Sorry for that. I trust our friend Harkin is doing well. If your business is finished on Korriban, it's time we looked for another spirit to bind. I hope you've turned up more than rumors. One man's rumors are another man's force fortifying ghosts. We think what Andronicus has heard is true. A Republic transport crashed over Hoth about a year ago. It was carrying artifacts from a Sith tomb that the Jedi had confiscated. Confiscated is the perfect euphemism, isn't it? A Sith is in no place to judge. The Jedi never recovered the transport. I don't like the idea of binding the dead like this, but if you have to, I'd start looking for that transport. I've already bound your ancestor. I don't think things could be worse. So I guess we are now heading to Hoth. I forgot how short that little part on uh, Korriban was, but I guess it picks up again after, um, after Hoth, so. I guess that makes sense. So, we're going to be heading over to Hoth, then. And then I've still got uh, two Light Chords Legacy. i kind of been putting it off, but uh, I'll get to it probably at least by the end of Chapter 2, and I'll probably make a, like a little short side story to that. 
I hope you found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. Fortunately, I'm not interested in sense. Only ghosts. What do these rumors say? There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner. Disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel, loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. Hope you've got your blasters ready. Just finishing the cold weather fittings, and I'll be ready. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful, though. Place is crawling with pirates. And they aren't all as nice as me. Alright, we have our mission. Let's go get our cold weather gear and, uh, drop down. I'm looking for a ship, called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor, and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanaton's behalf, naturally. That's not yours to know. Of course, my lord, it was rude of me to ask. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. I'm afraid you may be dead in a few months. Is there a faster solution? Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. One moment you're seeking artifacts of unspeakable power, and the next you're flying halfway across the galaxy hunting ghosts. Well then, maybe you and Lieutenant Talos Drellick will get along after all. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. Ah, yes, Talos. I forgot we get him, uh, on Hoth, or that's where we, uh, meet him. So, I guess we'll go track him down. Alright. Ooh, Tauntaun. Quite a track, can we? I can't use mounts. Good thing we got rocket boots. Reclamation service. Loose boys, we'll find that temple, I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. I'm looking for Lieutenant Talos Drellick of the Imperial Reclamation Service. My lord, I am honored. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoff? And how may I be of service? I'm taking over this team in order to locate a ship called the Star Runner. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh. I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. 
I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes. Darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Talora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Not a bad idea. Beware, my lord. The cold's master out here. My boys and I are going to shift camp, try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything. All right, got our team. Guess we'll go send out the probes. This might take a bit. Okay. Stress beacon. Oh. I think this is just part of the ship here. This is Captain Quillen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat. SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a womp here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks... Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir. We found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. Have Sharora zoom in, Sorrel. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Takata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Autolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Autolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Autolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost. But the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Autolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. A little lightning will break them. It always does. Well, it sounds a little gruesome, but who am I to question a master's methods? I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Autolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Autolans. Oh, <laughs> oh! There's actually uh quite a few uh inquisitors here doing the quest. Cool. Well, time to go fry some blue elephant people now. Feels kind of bad. Okay. Yep. No diplomacy. Just zap. Sounds so weird. It's like uh, a mix between pathetic and creepy. I actually don't remember if Ortolans are uh, native to Hoth. I don't think they are. Remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the distress beacon site. 
para de minha vara, para de minha vara. Puta, ele é não, não. 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 Could you say that again? Looks like we've found our ghost. So, you want me to pop this blue thing in the skull so you can bind this guy? If you'd rather speak through these idiots for eternity, be my guest. <laughs> I do no one's bidding but my own. Why not have these creatures do it for you? I guess I didn't get to zap anyone after all. Or at least... Not the chief. I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoff, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, how kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins, myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. Glad to hear it. Let me just gather up my equipment here. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, I guess he's uh already with me. Okay. I feel like that outfit isn't warm enough. But eh, who am I to judge? All right, guess we're going uh tomb raiding. Come on, Talos. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh. Well. Surprise, this droid still works. I think they'd be like frozen. To the walls or wherever they came from. They certainly build these joys to last. Just uh, keep on fighting.
looks like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. Guess I got a taste of my own medicine there. Also, that was kind of funny. His, uh, his model got stuck there for a moment. Where it went stiff. Ooh. Taking some damage. Yeeks. I can do it. Getting it close. Get on Talos. Just gotta seethe. Okay. Oh, I am too excited. Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders. look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoin. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. Stop swooning and stand back while I destroy this place. Please. I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why? We'd be orphaning ourselves. A culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. Take your record and make it extra thorough. Thank you. It shouldn't take too long. There. That's the last piece. Just... Just tell me when it's over. I think that's the first light side decision my Inquisitor has made. Although, I feel like that'd be like a, a normal thing to do. Especially for like an inquisitor, because they're, uh, you know, they're based on knowledge and stuff. You'd think you'd at least want to preserve a little bit of it. there's anything else up there is there I don't think so more droids Pass one. No. Destroy the prime relic. That's 
the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Naga Sedan crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I'd consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I think I liked your old puppets better. More lifelike. I find Naga Sedal's droid aesthetic somewhat lacking myself. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There, you will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. I need that ghost's power to defeat Darth Thanaton. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. All right. Guess we're going to the Star Coruscant. Almost done. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. All right. Guess I'll bring uh, Andronicos back. Since. So you need me after all. Um, time to go meet your uh, pirate friends. Cargo bay. All right. Don't think I'll be able to sneak past these guys, so. Not your time yet. Don't. Oh, jeez. Used to my smuggler and uh. I think it's my consular with the stealth. Ah, there's actually quite a few Kalish here. His fists out of respect. Oh, jeez. Just got pimp slapped. One less disrespect before he dies, I guess. so much with only a forceless scoundrel at your side. You're lucky you're already dead. I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. Attempts on my life are not a pill I swallow easily. Surely a Sith must be used to fending off unwanted attacks. Or have the Sith become soft since my time? Before you perform the ritual, promise me that you will release me when your enemies are defeated, 
and you no longer need my power. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. I don't make promises to the likes of you. I won't be taken easily. Domination it is. But to be fair, I could always go back on my word. I am a Sith after all. Quite a lot of damage there. All right, let's try this again. That's one more ghost. Guess, oh, to, guess we're going to the airlock. Right, because uh, Talos still needs to uh, join us. So I guess we'll head back. I just noticed all the snow particles. It's kind of cool. All right, let's head back. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, my lord, I hope to catch you before you left. I, um... I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh, by helping you, if you'll let me. And what exactly is in it for me? I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and, well, I don't like to brag, but I've been called the best in my profession. Huh. You don't know what you're asking, Lieutenant, trying to join this group. Oh, please, I promise I won't let you down. If you're going to make me feel guilty, I'll do it. I promise I won't let you down. Well, I don't have the option to refuse, so you're with us whether we like it or not. sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Targasa Charis embarks prize war pairing swase ik bus karadida. For once I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Where's this meditation chamber again? Droman Kos, the Citadel. You say the word, I'll set the course. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Up now, we sons. Alright, I guess we're all in agreement. So we'll be going to Dramon Kass next for... Possibly the final confrontation? I don't remember Thanatos dying this early, so we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys for joining me in this episode. We are done with ha Hoth, and we got Talos. So, I think we just got one more companion to go, and he's already on the way. Possibly in the next mission, or after the next mission. Maybe even the start of Chapter 3, but we'll just have to see. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bones out.